yesterday, Iranians in the Bay Area are worried about the safety of their loved ones back home. Co-anchor Andrea Nakano has that story. It's not the first time Persis Karim has seen these images from the Middle East, and she knows it won't be the last. Every time something like this happens, we all feel a collective sense of dread and fear. Kareem is the director of the Center of Iranian Diaspora Studies at San Francisco State University. It's been difficult for her to not think about the unrest and her family members living in Iran. The bottom line is there's a day after these confrontations and the, the real suffering doesn't happen to the policymakers, the governments, or the individuals who are spewing this very vile rhetoric, what happens is the consequences are felt by everyday citizens. And it's a region where everyday residents have been dealing with conflict for decades. Hamid Azimi with the Iranian American community of Northern California feels nothing is going to change until there is true democracy in Iran. The real problem is that the root cause of these unrest in the Middle East is the Iranian regime, which has been what they call the export of revolution, which is really ex export of terrorism. Iranian Americans say they need the United States' help for change to happen, but not in the way some suspect. They want action through diplomacy, not weapons. The U.S. needs to side with the people of Iran and recognize their right to, that they, they have to confront the IRGC inside Iran on their own. And it's a political uh, tool that the U.S. has in providing that, that support. And if peace is to be achieved, Persis Karim says it's vital for the U.S. to set an example and be consistent with the way it observes international and humanitarian law. I think if you keep supplying arms to a country like Israel without holding them accountable for the way it's impacting the civilians of Gaza, you can't expect people to understand that you're interested in peace. For the people living in the region and those with relatives there, they can only hope peace will prevail instead of the use of force.